Indeed, and it's interesting. You, you touched on – we did touch on receivers and Caden Saunders. And, uh, you know, speaking of receivers, it uh, uh, lo- looks like – we know Parker Washington, Kendra Labor Smith have two of the starting slots locked down. But I feel like it's safe to sharpie in uh, Mitchell Tinsley as – Jahan Dotson's replacement uh, by all accounts from what I've read he's he's had no problems making the leap from you know group of five to power five football so I'm and uh, he put up some nice stat really nice stats at Western Kentucky last year uh, 14 touchdowns had nearly 1500 yards receiving so uh, it'll, it'll I'm definitely I feel like uh, there. I don't want to say it'll be it'll be better, but you've got a group of three at this point, three starters at receiver that you would feel comfortable with whoever's slinging the rock, whether it's Sean Clifford or Christian Bay, you know, try to target one of those guys. Yeah, no, I agree. I think receiver should be a really strong point for the Nittany Lions this year. Like you said, Jim Mitchell Tinsley, who was – what I think finished like 1,400 receiving yards last year for Western Kentucky. And, you know, when when you look at Tinsley, to me at least, what's most encouraging is not necessarily just the stats he put up for Western Kentucky, but when he played Big Ten schools, he played against Indiana and Michigan State last year, and he teed off on both those teams. So clearly the talent is there, the ability to play at the Big Ten levels there. You mentioned Parker Washington, who's one of the most reliable receivers in the country. QRJ Lambert Smith just got hit. I mean, James Franklin, after practice on, on Wednesday, sung all kinds of praise for Lambert Smith. It seems like he is taking a step forward. And even if you look down that two deep, Malik Mega could be a deep play threat. We've talked about Saunders. Trey Wallace is another guy people in the program are very high on. Um, I know when Taylor Stubblefield was hired as a receivers coach, that was hired. Tim, you and I both are kind of skeptical of. But, man, it's very quickly both from – recruiting and most importantly on-field coaching and production look like one of the best hires of the James Franklin era. It has very much gotten to the point where as long as Taylor Stubblefield is here, I'm never going to worry about receiver because the last two years, Penn State has just cranked out one productive receiver after another. Indeed. I like that's, I think Stubbs has been a very, you know, very pleasant surprise uh, compared to when they first hired him. And I think, uh, you know, it's going to, I think it's this, this, uh, it's going to continue as far as having successful group of receivers. And, you know, we, I know we, I remember a few years ago, we were harping on him for a couple of recruiting misses, uh, but he's really picked it up. I just think, you know, the results have kind of recruited themselves. I guess while we're sticking on the subject of receiving, let's switch over to the tight ends real quick. Uh, I mean, it's hard not to sugar. It was it was disappointing in twenty twenty one. Expected a lot more out of this unit. Uh, what do you, what do you be looking for out of the tight ends in the spring game? I think for me, the tight ends, honestly, more than anything, I want to see them block well. Um, there were a lot of games last year where a lot of the issues in the running game and in the blocking traced back to the tight ends as much as it did the offensive line. You know, when the tight ends were targeted last year, for the most part, they did pretty well. Um, Brenton Strange had a couple just real killer drops against Iowa. But for the most part, the tight ends caught the ball when they were targeted. Um, I think this year the tight ends should bounce back. There's, I think there's too much talent in the room for them not to. Um, Brenton Strange met with the media the other day, and he said about how the tight end room has approached his offseason completely differently. They're a lot more motivated. They're looking to prove the people who are doubting them wrong, and that's what you want to hear. That's what you want to hear when they come from the, off the season of last year. You know, you look at the tight ends, Theo Johnson, Brenton Strange, Tyler Warren. There's a lot of talent in that room. Those are probably three future NFL tight ends. I just want to see them come out. And like I said, this spring, I want to see them block better because I don't doubt they'll catch the ball when it's thrown to them, but I need to see them block better. And I think if the tight ends can take a step forward in blocking, that could go a long way towards – getting this running game in general going and back in gear for Penn State. 